Hello, welcome to my front room again. We haven't been here for a while, have we? I think last time was a, was a Tob Juice review. Hmm. So, uh, what have we got today then? Well, what have we got today? Well, you've got the Royal Hunter. I've been wanting to get my hands on one of these for a while. Let's bring it back here because it's this focusy thing. Hmm. So, uh, let's go down there. Uh, actually, my coffee table. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually, uh, well the missus is away so I thought, you know what, I'm going to do a review down here, in the living room. So uh, I've got all my building stuff down here. She's going to have a fit when she comes in if I don't move all this. Anyway, so let's go down to my coffee table. I'll do a, a little closey uppy thing, as one does. I'm not going to bother with a build on it. It's it's a dripper. So uh, yeah, I'm going to see you back here in a few minutes. Okay. So, uh, well, we've got here the Royal Hunter by Council of Vapor. Uh, right, let's do the ability unboxing. Here's a box, here's the device. Tra la. Okay, that's where you get the. Uh, that's about as good as we're going to get. Okay, we'll go through that in a minute. Let's get that out of the way. Okay, so we've got in here, we've got a little doodah. Which I can't really seem to get. Oh, there we go. Use a tool to get it out. Drop that to one side. So that'll be another insert for the top. And got some bits and bobs in here. Blue screwdriver, some spare screws, uh, an Allen key. So if you've got some Allen key screws in there, that sort of thing. We've got a like it on Facebook thing. Yeah, whatever. And a quick start guide. Let's have a quick look at the quick start guide. So there we go, wide bore, high flow drip tip, blah, 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 blah. Move the top cap and the sleeve. Loosen positive and negative screws. Yeah, we get the idea. Right, okay. So then, let's have a quick look at this. I'm not gonna build it on camera, uh, frankly. Right, so we got this uh, arrangement here, where we can see that, uh, Right, so you can you can single coil it by the looks of it. Presumably by yeah, if you do that, then you'll buck off one of the air holes. So uh, yeah, that's all good. Or dual coil it. Like so. Okay, so here this is an interesting feature. So this is actually the wide board drip tip. But as you can see here, you've got sort of a honeycomb affair. Now that, I do believe, is to uh, cut down on spit back. You know, when, you, when your coils are really uh, chucking out the juice in it. Well, you, we've all been there, you get little droplets of, drip, uh, of juice in your mouth because uh, you, your coil is spitting. This is uh, designed pretty much to, uh, to stop that. However, if you don't want that, you can just pop this insert in here and uh, use a regular 510 drip tip. So uh, that's pretty natty, isn't it? So, uh, choose a, oh, forget that for a minute. Right, let's just pop the uh, sleeve off there. So there's the deck. Thank you, camera. Okay, so you can see there we've got, uh, yeah, we've got four post holes there and uh, they're a fairly large size, probably about two mil. A uh, fairly, uh, fairly deep juice well. And on the bottom there, we've got some uh, the typical cancer of the vapor engraving. Now, I don't know if this is an adjustable 510 or not. But it is. Is anything coming loose? Uh, maybe, maybe. Oh, well, that's only one way to find out, isn't there? Yeah, so not really that adjustable. Basically, you unscrew that, and that center vice is going to come out, uh, which is fair enough, I suppose. I suppose you can adjust it a little bit, but you know, there we go. So, um, yeah, I mean, that seems to be silver plated. I don't know if it's silver plated steel or what it is, uh, so, and it's quite a proud uh, 510 connector, so I don't think we'll have any trouble with that. 
Mm. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to shove a build on this. Uh, using, um, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to use either regular canfile uh, or nickel. Uh, so I shall decide. And uh, there we go. But we've all seen the dripper built before. You don't need to see me doing it. So uh, in the interest of keeping it sweet. So uh, short and sweet even. God, what is the time this morning? Oh, I have absolutely no idea. I'm doing silly things at silly o'clock in the morning. But anyway, I'll uh, I'll catch you on the flip side. So hopefully you found that fairly informative. I opted for a, a nickel build in the end, and it came out at uh, 0.07 ohms dual coil. Uh, so I've got this sitting on top of an SX Mini at the moment, sitting at uh, 40 joules uh, in the powerful profile. It ain't bad. I'll tell you, the flavour of this is quite something. Uh, Build-wise, it's actually quite easy to do. Um, wasn't really an issue. Didn't really have any fiddliness with it. It took me all of about 10 minutes to get a build on it. I probably could have done it quicker, but you know, I like to make sure those cores are nicely spaced. Um, all right, so uh, we had a close-up and look at the device. Uh, I think this is available in gold as well, actually. And the black, I don't know, but uh, yeah. Surprising, actually, the drip tip here. It's actually really comfortable. I wasn't entirely sure about this. I was thinking uh, I might have to use the adapter and use a 510. But it's actually really comfy. And uh, this is actually, uh, I believe, a 50-50 uh, e-liquid here. This is Cosmic Fog. I, I believe it's 50-50. It's, it's pretty... Pretty liquidy, but, um, mm, and it's producing clouds, all right. But, uh, on that note, I think I need to refill. So let's pop the, hey, the, the 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 top is really nice and easy to remove. It's lovely to work with, to be fair. Yeah, this is definitely a fifty-fifty because this is dripping out the drippy thingy. Uh, just fill this up. It holds a fair old uh, lick of e-liquid, to be honest. It's uh, It's got a, quite a deep juice well. And uh, as I've been using Derringers a lot recently, this is quite a nice uh, a nice change. I can actually get more than about five drops in there. Whoops, I'm overfilled. I'm getting a bit zealous here, aren't I? Hmm. Let's just burn some of that off. <laughs> hey, I hope you saw that because that is exactly what I was talking about in the close yuppie section about the uh, spitting. Oh, I tell you, I made a right mess of this. I'm glad I've done this on camera because I do make a mess of things every now and again. And uh, it's nice to actually show you me making a mess of stuff. Uh, it's, uh, that's uh, that. You see that? Right. That's pretty. That is exactly what this juice guard is to stop. Okay. So let's see if it does, because you've just seen it spit. Oh, God. I've got juice all down the side of my mod now. It's really badly overfilled. I'll tell you what. I'm going to cut here because I'm just going to tip some of this uh, excess liquid down the sink. <laughs> this is too, I've, I've put too much in. I was chatting away while I was filling it. It's my own silly fault. Back in a mo. Okay, I'm back. I, I tipped some stuff down the sink. Right, so where were we? Oh, yes. Right, you see that spitting? Hopefully you can, because that is exactly what this is supposed to avoid. So that's... Uh... Yeah, it's, it's avoided it. I didn't get any liquid in my mouth apart from the vapour. So uh, that's good. That's very good.
I like that. I'm going to crank this up a little bit. Let's put it up to um, let's put it up to sixty. Yeah, why not? Oh no, fifty is the highest I can go on, isn't it? Let's change the temperature as well. Uh, I had it set to two hundred and twenty degrees centigrade. Let's set this to um, actually I prefer it in Fahrenheit. Right. Right. So five hundred degrees Fahrenheit at fifty. Well, joules, watts, whatever you want to call this thing. So uh, let's just finish. Uh, okay. Exit. Yes. Right. So there we go. You can't see that because I haven't got autofocus on here. This is a fixed focus thing. So, uh, yeah. Okay then. Oh my. <laughs> What you could do with 100% VGNS, I just don't know. That's fun. You wait till the missus gets home later today. <laughs> she ain't going to see the telly. <sighs> do, you, do, you, do you like my mug? It's, uh, it's DNA 40 approved. Hmm. So then, let's, let's chat about things. So, a disclosure, this was actually provided uh, free of charge for me, for purposes of review, by uh, Barracuda Vape. Um, and I'm certain, if, uh, uh, during the live portion of the show, uh, uh, a employee of Barracuda Vape is probably in chat. So thank you, that person from Barracuda Vape. He changes your voice as well. Um, I believe these retail somewhere between the 30 to 40 pounds mark. Um, but 35 quid or something like that anyway um, it's very nicely machined uh, as I said the, you know, the the top that just comes off with ease the uh, the airflow adjustment that spins really freely there's no tightness on the o-rings at all it's just right it's not well it's easy enough to take away I mean I, I don't think I can hold the mod with it oh, no, I can it's starting to come away but it's it's solid enough. So this is currently full open. So that's um, I, I like the airflow actually. It's uh, it's like a little volume control. I, I appreciate you can't really see on this. But, uh, I'll, I'll do a little bit of a close yappy thing on the live show. Uh, so let's pop it down to one. Well, oh, that's tight. That is really tight. Um, so good news for you people that like a tight vape actually. I mean you can do a single coil so that'd be even tighter. Um, and of course if you remove the, uh, you put the 510 adapter in that'd be even tighter still. So um, yeah it's very adjustable. Um, let's put it on two. That's a, I, I love this, it's like a little volume control. Still producing excellent clouds and the flavour's really increased. So what is this? This is the uh, I picked this up as well and I, uh, uh, earlier today. This is Cosmic Fog Kryptonite. Um, I'll do a review on that at some point. So that's with that's that's on two. It's, it's all the same power and uh, temperature and everything. But good vapor, good vapor, an excellent flavor. Uh, on to three. Not quite enough for a lung hit, but if you put it on the fully open four. Yeah, you can get a nice comfortable lung hit there. There's, there's, there's a bit of resistance. I mean, it's not as airy as some, but it's, it's airy enough at least for me. So, um, yeah, as you might have guessed, um, yeah, I aside from the fact I got this free, I mean, you know me now, by now, surely, that uh, I would... Give this a thumbs down if I didn't like it, if it was free or not. But um, yeah, it's really, it's, 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 for the price, for the price of these things, you know, 30 to 40 quid, it's very heartily recommended. You know, it's, it comes to somebody, doesn't it? And you get an atomizer this good. It's a genuine article. It's cheap as chips. 
it performs well. You get a good flavour production out of it. Yeah, I, 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 I recommend it highly. So I'm going to spend the rest of the morning, after I've finished doing some housework, and editing this video, uh, having a good vibe. So, uh, cheers. <laughs>